two openings in cliff wall not visible. Three upright stone deflector slab. This is our area. And then a fire pit buried. That must oh, be so the upright this, stone this right here. here yeah. Yeah. They drew yeah. fresh in air and through mm -hmm. here. These would have been the deflector sheet. Yes, the two, the two, yes. Yeah. It's just filled in. Ladders. <laughs> well, the ladders didn't have to be. It was just right off the road. Yeah, just right off the road. Right it's a couple of days travel. <laughs> a couple of days walking, but uh, <laughs> there's quite a bit of. Then they, had to, then they had to drag it back. <laughs> no, I read that. Uh, correct it. Let me correct it here. <laughs> I read that the, the men build the house. The yes. man builds the house, but the woman is the owner because she repairs it and preserves it. <laughs> According to the book. <laughs> no longer like the neighbors. I apologize. Yes, there was. This one is committed. Initially used for household trash, roughly five feet of debris accumulated here before the first floor was laid.
We had a gas refrigerator. Commercial electricity did not arrive until 1959. The government, of course, charged them rent, $10 a month. <laughs> water from a nearby spring but had the luxury of cooking with tofu. largest in the village yet had no household pools or utensils were found inside. This is a honeymoon suite. It's, it's a special place for half the ceremony. 